Today is day 313 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on with project number five, random user generator. We set up the Ajax request API stuff, the foundation of it yesterday. Mm -hmm -hmm. Tiny cat. Little kitty, how are you doing? You were napping for quite a while before we started the stream, but now, now you're awake. And I hope you don't sabotage anything. Um, you're clicking on things. Quadruped. Here is our example code. What are you looking for? Are you assuming the napping position? Yeah, claws. Claws. Be mindful. Be mindful. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Let's let's move you. You're kind of in a weird spot, and that's yeah. You were, you were like hanging off of the chair, yet still clinging to me. You're in a more centered position. And now I don't feel like you're listing. Uh, okay. So little kitty situated. We've got our user random user generator example project. We need our project. Right here, like so. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Blah 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 blah. Dum dum diddly 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 diddly. We also need the following: the console. Yes, yes, good, 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 beautiful. Now, uh, Topher was kind enough to add comments to the archived stream from yesterday which he does on on occasion they're they're quite helpful actually rather frequently so that's that's very cool um because there are tons of helpful hints and different points and aspects what are we looking at oh we're in the html file no wrong javascript he had mentioned we don't actually want to utilize alert Apparently that was just for example purposes in the getting started Ajax examples. Uh, we will want to leverage console log for ours. So let's get rid of... <laughs> How many alerts are there? One... Two, just the three? No, four. Four alerts, console log them all. Let's get rid of, no, no, no. We don't have to get rid of anything. We just simply change alert to console log. Console.log. Like so. Copy. Console log, console log, console log. So, no alerts in our code. This is an alert free zone. <laughs> Minus the function name alert contents, but you know what we mean. Okay, so there's, there's all of that noise. Uh, save, 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 save. Refresh and again fetch Axios jQuery. All of that noise has been changed because it's no longer buttons element that we're we're focused on. We're simply setting up XHR for right now. So let's give XHR a chance to shine and clickety click. Okay, things are happening. Things are happening. Undefined. I don't know if that's good or bad, but yeah, good. So there's a 4 and 200. We're supposed to do something with that stuff. Maybe it's simply the computed string or the response text. Maybe we have to change that or do more noise. I'm, I'm really, really not sure. Little kitty, you are rolling all around in our lap, and I'm concerned... 
because your tail's moving, but I can sense I can sense your claws are starting to slowly come out more and more. And you kind of got me on edge. Let's move you just a little. And we're shimmying, and we're shimmying. Oh, God, claws. Hey, hey, hey. Go back to napping. Go back to napping. Good, good. You're a cat. Okay. Now, something... Something about the following. Step one didn't have anything too grand in it. It just had on, ready state change for the name of the function. It was how to make the request. Blankety blankety blank. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Name of the function, which we had... We went through all of this yesterday and stumbled across the typo for ready state. So ready state is that. Variable response. Parse this. I think things are supposed to happen here. Hold on, hold on. Console log. Response. Yeah, computed string. Because that was par uh, JSON dot parse, HTTP request, response text. And that's this. And then we have response, or variable, is all of that noise. So then we have response dot computed string. And we're trying to console log that. But it is showing up as undefined. What do I need from here? What if it was just response? Watch this. Probably not the best idea. But it's all we've got in the meantime. Save, save, save. Refresh. We're testing. Click. Aha! See? It changed. Wow. Hmm, what to do with that? So... Ray info page one result one seed blah 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 version one point one object so array one a zoom that's their cell number and their date of birth wow <laughs> down to the minute um let's see their example email, potential gender, ID, their location, their username, all of that good stuff is there. So the data is there. I need to do something with the data now. So that's how to make the request. This is handling the server response. Hey, zero love. Try response results zero. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, so on that note, zero love, uh, <laughs> we basically use this simple example uh to follow borderline to a t uh i ended uh, i added in the different console logs to try and troubleshoot to see if anything was actually happening yesterday so i was able to see that the XM xml request was running and we got a four and a 200 and all that good stuff and uh Prior to this, we'll we'll change it. We'll change it. Um, dum, 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 
Yeah, good. So, results, you say? Zero. We'll try it. Dum 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 dot results zero. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Save. So oh, that's not what we're trying to refresh. This is what we're trying to refresh. And XHR. Cool! It's got stuff, and it's different. Gender and things. It worked. Zero Love was right. Neat. So, now, I want to take this stuff, and when we click XHR here, and again, it brings up the crap. We have our divs set up for full name, username, and blah 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 location. We we got everything that that Topher said we would need. Cool. So now to take that, I see I was sort of that's why I was reading through the second one. So handling it. So results back to this. The mm, death. I feel like we're going to have a lot more expanding to do here. So response.results0 gives us all of the info we need and want. But now I need to break down those and display them. So zero is all of that. We're going to need to go further into things. Handling the server response. Request is sent. On ready state change. Uh, when it's done, everything is good. Response was received. So that's where we're at. We've received the response because it was a 4 and complete. So now, check the response code which we also have, that's the 200 response code. And after checking the state of the request and the HTTP status code, you can do whatever you want with the data the server sent. You have two options to access the data. Response text returns the server response as a string of text which is what we had here, or have there, and then HTTP request response XML. I wonder if we'd be better off with the XML? I don't think we are, but I kind of... No, no, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Everything's great. Everything is good. So now what to do? I kind of want to see what happens, though, if we do XML, right? Zero love. Might as well try both and see what happens. I agree. I agree. Let's do that. Let's do that indeed. So here's this. <laughs> Uh, um, response XML. We don't even need to delete that much. XML. We're saving. Oh, hopefully it doesn't come crashing down upon us. Fiery wreckage. Um, refresh. Click. Ooh. Caught exception undefined. Before results zero, it was computed ring. I don't believe that's going to change anyone's day. Refresh and click. Yeah, exception. Now, I believe this is since 
going the XML route, we need to do something with content type. Or maybe that's just for Internet Explorer. There was a whole... It's mostly straightforward, but there was a lot of... There were many ways to get this wrong, too. As, as basic as it could be, there's a lot of fail points for such a straightforward journey. And I keep tripping over all of them. Let's move this back to results and text. Save, save, save. Refresh. Ta da! Okay, so we have the following. We need to take. How do we. Referencing the object. Response will equal all of that. And we're console logging a response results. What if we were to turn that into a variable or an array in and of itself? I mean, it already is essentially an array. What if I did one? I don't think that's going to change anything. And it'll bring up different info, but... Save, save, save. Refresh. Okay, yeah, there, that pissed him off. So, what, what is it? It's a multi-dimensional, multi-layered array. Multi-dimensional array. So we need to go into the sub... things. Save, save. Yeah, I don't even think... Because this is what we're referencing. And it's just one big... Oh, results! That's where... Okay, I gotcha. Uh, zero love. One wouldn't work when you tried console logging uh, the response. You only had zero because you had zero. We were able to do the response result zero, right? And results is is what we're dealing with. Ah, uh, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's been a long journey. Piecing together all the loose ends of this. Ajax Nightmare has been, uh, well, there's been a lot of learning, a lot of stumbling, but we're getting there. I, I kind of want to, after I conquer this project, I do want to keep pursuing the rest of the projects that Topher set up for us, but I also want to cut back to Free Code Camp and try and tackle the other API projects that I didn't complete. Because I just got way too confused and there was so much struggling that we kind of backed out of that. Um, but yeah, maybe once we conquer this, then I'll have enough insight and understanding to successfully pull off the other projects. Um, dum 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 dum. So we're, we're good. We set it back to response text. We've got result zero. Uh, now to deal with the rest of the sub arrays, indices, whatever we want to call them. We didn't refresh here, did we? Maybe we did. Okay, so to pull, to pull cell, we need the following. If zero is all of that, Zero has gender, email, their name, their phone number, all of that stuff. What's the best way for me to extract that data and put it in their appropriate divs? 
Ahí. What about when I click it again? Oh, it brings up another one. Cool. So, maybe, since it just auto-updates the data with each click, this is here. I can do... I think document dot think it through, Stephen. Think it through. Get element by ID. Um, first things first is. Do we want to do username or do we want... No, 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 that's user in general. And there will be the image tag there. But first thing is full name. And over here, let's re reset. We've got three users and it's tripping me out. Uh, we only need one. So full name would be... Oh, that's a very interesting one. Uh white okay this is slightly easier dialect for steven to understand so name luca sanchez so we just need to take name in general so it will be full name Full name dot text content wrap. I forget if we want to do inner HTML or text content. One of them's better for dealing with rings and HTML elements. I think we'll be fine with text content for now. Text. I think it's a capital C too. Text content equals if I was trying god I haven't had to do something even though this is so basic I haven't had to do anything to reference this info in javascript in god at least a month and a half now Okay, so if we have an object, let's say it was called, don't mind me, we're going to go into our nonsense area and think this out. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, nonsense. So if we have an object like uh, it's an array, variable array equals... Um, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, we're going to call our, our array is cat, and it contains um, fur is fluffy, and, well, that should be in quotes, uh, fluffy, and, oh, well, I, wait, 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 would an array... An array would be curly braces. An array would be curly braces. We'd reference it with the brackets, so that needs to be here. This needs to be there. And so uh, it's fur, and it's, uh, we'll call it size. It's not a great cat description, but size is small, because it's a, nope, tiny cat. Tiny cat. Tiny cat. Commas or semicolons. I forget, I think it's just commas. Yeah, it's just commas. So we have our cat array color white. Okay, so if I have all of this info, this 
This is our cat array is response. Sort of. It, really, it's results. It's all of this. It's all of that. Um, oh, why can't I easily highlight that? There we go. Copy. So, cat. So, cat is all of this. And then here, we have cell phone, date of birth, and email, and gender, and their name. And some of them are more like, you know, maybe, maybe their name is yet another array. With first and last, you you get what's going on. So, anyways, uh, come on, Steven. So, we have cat, and I want to reference one of the following, but we already have results zero. Maybe I just need to turn this into a variable itself. I think that's what's throwing me off, because response is all of this. And even though I'm console logging, response dot result zero. Okay, I either need to make this a variable in itself, like, uh... Variable, and I should be doing this in the nonsense section, but uh, variable, we'll call it results, or it, we'll call it user info, user info equals response results. And then from there, I think I'd be able to do user info. zero or one or two whatever i need to access the following but my spidey senses tell me that i should be using dot afterwards in this instance i'd be able to do results zero dot name bracket and then zero for title, one for their first name, and two for their last name. So if I did one, well, let's do instead of zero for their title, let's do one for their first name. Spidey senses tell me I should be closer to something like that than having to birth a whole new thing, and then down here, it really wouldn't be any different. It's just visually, I think it would change to user info dot name one. Like, we really aren't escaping what I think should be happening. Let's try it. This feels wrong. Bad Steven. Bad, Steven. Let's clear out the nonsense section. Oh, okay, so. Uh, zero love almost there. Curly braces for objects, right, right. See, we, we, we caught ourselves back when it happened. So, maybe instead of just doing... Did I ruin? I'm not missing any. No, I'm not. Okay, I thought I may have cleared out a curly brace in my tinkering. If we do dot name one, maybe it will show us their username. Save, save, save. Ah, oh, fingers crossed. It shows us. Now it'll be a different name. But hopefully it shows us that. Refresh. 
Oh, expect it. See, see, we did miss something. Line 38. We pissed off the JavaScript gods. I knew we f***ed up. Ah, it was this one. It was this one. So where's that supposed to go, though? If that blah, blah, blah. We're just going to do Z until everything goes back to normal. Yep, command Z, one step at a time, we can relive the stupidity and guessing. Things are happening, things are happening. Good, 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 good. Go backwards and backwards and fix things. Yes, yes, fantastic, fantastic. Going back in time. Nothing wrong has happened yet. Wow, ah, text content. Oh, right, I never told it to equal anything. We'll, we'll get rid of that for now. Let's see if we can at least pull the first name out. Name... one and it was that it was the equal sign it was the equal sign i was concerned i thought there was one of these but it it seems that it was the the document where to go um similar to this we just had an open-ended one so anyways save 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 refresh no angry error messages click Hmm. What to do? I feel like we're so close. Maybe we should turn it into an object. Zero love. Oh, doc. Okay, yeah, you saw it. document get element by ID. Just comment. Okay, my bad. My bad. Maybe we can do the following. Man save. Refresh. That works. That brings up a whole... whole thing. If we do... Copy. Variable. User. Info equals blank. Then we can do document dot get element by ID, uh, full name. dot text content equals username no user info dot name one I know that's just their first name, but that's the best I've got right now. Save, save, save. I don't think this is right either. I think it's, I think it's a listing in the right direction, but I, we're not... Yeah, I, I think we're, we're listing in the right direction. Like, if we were on a boat, I think we're heading down the stream in the right direction, but I don't think I'm looking downstream i'm i'm looking at the side of the river or back upstream or somewhere else so our focus isn't quite perfect damn caught an exception undefined line 48 oh it it found an issue 
with what we were doing. It doesn't like what we're doing. Rightfully so. I'd be pissed too. Well, what if we did just user info? And save. And refresh. Hmm. Let's look at our, one of our old projects. File, open. Let's see. Document. We've had Magic 8 Ball, uh, Coin Toss, and Number Game. We needed to update info when they would click on things with, I want to say Magic 8-Ball might actually be the best case scenario to verify, open, because we'd take the answers and have them display Aha! See? Text content equals blank. That's a thing, and then it would get updated with the answer. Error. Full name, do we have? No, that's right. Well, damn. Let's say... What if we just do response result zero? We get rid of this. Save, 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 refresh. Damn, it keeps causing, keeps catching an error. Line 46. So, something wrong must be happening. So we're, we're receiving the data. We're receiving the data. Work with the XML response versus working with data. Okay, so working with the XML response versus working with data. Finally, let's send... No, that's for sending data. That's for sending data. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, okay. Um, it's just, it looks so similar. Dollar name. No, that's all for PHP stuff. So, what to do, what to do. Doesn't feel like we made progress. Uh, JavaScript. Let's see, uh, extracting. Let's 
JavaScript, data. No, no, no. Extracting. Data. JavaScript. API. Yeah, good, good, good. Now, here we go. Extracting data from one or more layers, given nonsense, blankety blankety blank, constructors, no extract, no, 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 no. We need straightforward, clear, concise answers, internet. The fetch API. Code and demo. Fetch things, then catch things. Random user generator. Neat. My name is Noah Evans. Noah is a liar. Why can't we figure out own redirect form data? Do we need to convert the data type? Maybe that's what the content type was for. I just figured the content type, yeah, only needed to be specified if we were working with XML. Is XML essential for this? Can't tell. Continuing on, continuing on. Dot data store the arbitrary key. Yeah, see, see, key and value. So dot data key and value. So zero is the array or The key ring data key, comma value. So maybe instead of that, it should have been. Name E and value. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 Ta dum ta dum Didi. dot name e would be zero comma no 
it would be one for first name. And we want the data of it. This is bad. This is all bad. I totally forget all of this. Let's comment out this noise. Save, save, save. Data column number. Data, a bit about JSON. Email. The JavaScript. Button, on click. Aha! Text, substring, one, comma, six. Maybe I need to deal with a substring. Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't need to deal with a substring. Maybe I need to turn it into an array. And then deal with it. God, I remember, uh, all I can think of is all the challenges I did at Code Wars. I know I did all of those JavaScript, uh, yeah, JavaScript challenges. Manipulating data with all the if and else statements and loops and all that nonsense, but now that I've been focused on the projects and I, I haven't done any of that specific stuff, it's just been slowly building with each project. I, I haven't had to use any of those specific tools in a while. I'm totally blanking. Close that, close that. I think this E value stuff, MDN. E value. Tum, 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 tum. Wait, those are just keys. That's not helpful. Object entries, object keys, and arrays. Back to the basics. Now, if I want the following object like so, zero is A, one is B, two is C, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so console log, entries, object, so results, zero, object would be all of them. If I wanted a subset of the object, I would need to do the following. Response dot blank array, new array, array zero. Here we've got results zero. This is tragic. This is tragic. Ease. 
array abc array console log three dum 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 I see all of this and it makes sense, but how do I implement it for my own project? Tiny cat, you need to watch your little arms. Roots. Aha. So variable first. We've got fruits, which is apple and banana. Accessing index into an array. Fruit zero gives us apple. Length minus one would give us banana, of course. So we have exactly that right now. Let's minus this. And cat, your claws are digging into me and it is just awful. Okay, there's that. Dum, 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 dum. Her claws are so active. Why? You can stay in the napping position if you don't claw me. So, hey, oh my god, that is the exact opposite of what we just agreed upon. Little kitty, the exact opposite. Let's, let's just move you. Good luck. Have fun being covered in fur. So... This is where I'm at, but it's returning everything. It's not just returning Apple. It is returning a truckload of information, a whole dossier on a person. Save, 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 save. Refresh. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Everything. So, if it's returning... This is returning an array full of information. What do I need? I need the following from The array. Array length, accessing array elements. So result zero is the first item and the only item of our array. This Beast responses dot results zero. That's what we're faced with right now. So to do more with that, to dig further into it, dot zero is a syntax error. Zero works. Properly. So what else? What's the next thing to tag on to? Fruits 5 is mango. Fruits 5 equals mango. Mango's down there. Length and all that nonsense. Is tragic. Tragic, I tell you. In 
damn, 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 damn. Ah, uh, okay, so what should I have an array? I have an array, and I need to reference an index. Array generics are non standard. From blank dot blah. Wait a tick. Two dimensional array. Yes, yes. Okay. Really, that's what it is. Is just tacking it on the end. What's a chessboard? Interesting. Rook, knight, bishop, queen, king. Bishop, knight, rook. Wait a second. Is a knight in... Chess really spelt with an N? Oh, okay. Ah, ha, ha. Just kidding. The reason why they aren't using K for a knight is because they're using K for king. All right. I'll give that to them. That counts. I'd, I'd buy that. I'd buy that. So, move king's pawn forward to... Yeah, sure. Uh, it's at 4-4, four, four, so 4 down here and in 4 spaces. And I don't actually know what's happening, but sure, things are happening. Bitchin'. Maybe that's all I need to do. So if 0 is there, then let's just keep stacking things on each other. I think that'll work. I'd buy that. So if results is giving me this, sell. First thing, it's weird because it shows gender here first. Gender, male, then name, then location, then email, and all that stuff. But when we crack it open, it starts with cell phone, and then date of birth, and then email, and then gender, and then it goes to all the other stuff. Why? Why does it skip? What is this? It's not cool enough? I don't understand. All of this is very concerning. Hold on. Don't mind me. We'll uh, think amongst yourselves for a moment. All right, crisis averted. Continuing on, now that I think we've we've stumbled across and solved our, our mystery, why is there? Here we go. There we go. Um. Dum 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 dum. Deep 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 deep. Let's just do anything. So hold on. Cell would be zero. One two. Three. See what we get for gender. That will be easily identifiable. Let's do three. That didn't work at all. Save, save, save. Refresh. Damn, still nothing. 
Sarah go. I don't know what to do. Uh, accessing. Data. Multi. Dimensional. Or T dimensional arrays. We'll find out. Google will save us. S. Should have known it. Should have known. So, where is Stack Overflow? Oh, using jQuery. Stack a sh. No, just MDN. Good old fashioned. That's exactly where we were at. But whatever. So, JavaScript. We've got... Using age. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. See this. Someone else is struggling. How to access data in multidimensional array using jQuery. I'm using Ajax to make a call to a server and get back some user data. So am I, random user of the internet. So am I. Okay. So... How tragic was your tale? I am using Ajax to make a call to the server and get back some user data. The server returns back an array formatted like below. Okay, we're gandering. Array 6, 0 to 17, ID, provider, option title, character title, target, and whatnot, and, and a smattering of other things. So... Average current, status icon, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, it's all scary and fascinating. So the next thing to do would be the following. I then try to access the data with the array using a for each loop. Interesting. Dollar Ajax. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What is that? Do I need to do that? I was wondering what I would have an actual Ajax tag or the phrase in my code because I know at Free Code Camp, I don't know if we're still signed into Free Code Camp, are we? Let's check and see. There was like an Ajax section in in our stuff map, right? Dum, 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 dum. Show, local weather, quote machine, totally drawn a blank. JSON APIs, the geo stuff. Convert JSON data to HTML. Maybe this, maybe this is exactly what we want. Maybe this will work. My head's just spinning and imploding. Hold on. Let's think about life. Oh, God. The joy, the fun, 313 days into this nightmare. Who would have known? Who would have known that we weren't even near the peak of our confusion yet? Okay. Let's just think about this and move on. Convert JSON data to HTML. Now that we're getting data from a JSON API, let's display it in our HTML. We can use the dot for each method to loop through our data and modify our HTML elements. First, let's declare an HTML variable with HTML equals blah. Then let's loop through our JSON, adding more HTML to that variable. When the loop is finished, we'll render it. Here's the code that does that. JSON dot for each function variable, uh, function value, variable keys, 
object.keys value HTML plus equals div class equals cat. Hey, another cat uh, example. Keys dot for each function key HTML plus strong plus key and strong. Um, concatenate value key with a line break. Ugh. Okay, and then HTML plus the closing div and, and break noise. Okay, so, dear God, really? Is that is that what I'm actually going to need to shimmy into my code? Let's see the following. <sighs> oh, dear God. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Day 313. Is this the... I think day 313 might be the new low point in, in the year. It could be. It certainly feels like it. Document.ready function. Do we even have a document.ready function? Do we need a document.ready function? Or is that because they were implementing... It's probably because they were using, let's look at the map, jQuery beforehand. See, get JSON with jQuery in the get JSON method. So their setup is slightly different than ours. Because we're, we're trying to piece this together on our own, which is not, not without help, but outside of free code camp or any other tutorial site so we're free to do whatever we want any button works we're just trying to set up the xhr button for now hey sir skull hi hello to you hopefully your day is going well ours is uh ours is interesting yeah, see, this, this is what we're shooting for. Be able to click on any of the methods. The API call happens and, and generates it as, as such. This is where we're currently at. The button triggers stuff, XHR. Ta-da. We've got the, the completed four, the status 200, that everything's okay. And here, we'll get rid of our confused three. Save, save, save. Refresh. Ta-da! And we get all the info we need and want from the random user generator link or site, whatever it is. But now we need to take that data and be able to display it like so. And I'm just... I've run into a roadblock right here, and it's soul-crushing. Um, but yeah. Sir Skull, is there an easy, free way to do stuff other than learning coding? Ah, wait, is there an easy, free way to do stuff other than learning coding? Like, in general, to, uh, to what end... I assume you're talking about are there free sites to learn how to code other than going through and doing projects on your own. And, and to that I say if you have no idea how to code, you can check out uh, loading, loading, loading. Bum, 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 bum. Code Academy. Uh, just if you're at, if you have no idea what HTML or CSS or JavaScript is, um, Code Academy is a good place just to get your feet wet, and then from there, you could sort of see after you get a general understanding, you could kind of roll into uh, Free Code Camp. Because they, too, cover the basics of HTML and CSS and JavaScript. 
but they don't really break things down. At Free Code Camp, it's kind of, they have an example or, yeah, they have an example of what you're trying to pull off like this, and you kind of have to read between the lines of what they want you to do. It's not as clear-cut as the lessons and instructions that Code Academy has. Um, but point being, once you get past getting your feet wet and just getting a general understanding of how how the components function and work together and what you need to do, uh, doing your own projects or finding easy projects really is the best way to learn. Um, just kind of starting with a blank canvas almost. And really, even if you wanted, you could just take the uh, little examples from either Code Academy or Free Code Camp and just bring them into your own code editor and just start tinkering with them and manipulating them from there. Uh, Sir Skull, I'm trying to do stuff. But coding seems a lot. Not sure what the point of learning to code if you don't have goals or anything. I want to do... Wait, 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 wait. Is there an easy free way of learning things? Trying to do stuff. Not sure what's the point of learning to code if you don't have any goals or anything you want to do. Ah, well, right now, at least for us, even though this is more of an exploratory journey... It's an exploratory journey just for the year. There was no set benchmark. The The goal itself was just to stream learning to code every single day. Um, but after that, yeah, we plan to do things. I mean, I wouldn't mind a, a career uh, in programming and whatnot. That would be fascinating, but I'm not... I wasn't heart set on landing a developer job within six months... Of, of starting my personal journey. Dum, 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 dum. There's Skull. Uh, it just seems a lot of easy to use a program. Uh, Sir Skull, are you counting down or up? I am counting up. Today, 365. So we've completed 313 days. It's been a very odd journey. But we've, we've experienced quite a bit. And it's so much. It's kind of just... Basically, if you were to stand in front of a, a fire hydrant, we've been... barraged with hit with a barrage of knowledge and data and lessons and all that kind of stuff. So it's, uh, it's been a lot to take in. So trying to collect and hold and retain all of that new information every single day is, has been difficult. That's why we're looking back at even just the basics on how to access, you know, key value stuff in arrays is there's just there's been so many fundamental there's so many basics and fundamentals that it's just it's been slightly overwhelming to say the least so uh and it, it took us a while to get to the point of doing projects and even the projects that we're doing were still provided to us by uh by Topher so he's he was awesome for setting us up with that, but we were at least able to finally get out of that tutorial site, um, cyclical, vicious cycle we were in for a while. We had made it through the majority of, uh, actually we made it through the entirety of Code Academy, then we made it to Code Wars and then Free Code Camp, and now we're, now we're focusing on uh, these personal projects that have been curated for us and they've been fantastic eye-opening but it's totally different instead of just focusing on one specific activity at free code camp trying to tie together everything 
is uh, it's proven to be more daunting than than I initially realized. But yeah, it's going well. It's going well. Uh, you know this website, W3 Schools? Yes. Yes. Indeed, we do. We have frequented it many a times over the last 313 days. And there's been quite a few handy examples. We've really taken a liking to uh, MDN's site, though. Their, their instructions and examples have been pretty damn awesome. Stack Overflow is also good. We were looking at someone's tragic story on Stack Overflow just now, weren't we? Did we back out of that? We did back out of it. That's okay. Not to worry. Um, history stack overflow. This where we were at? This is where we were at. Okay. Oh, Ajax, right. Using Ajax, and we were looking at free code camp. We were just trying to verify or confirm. Plus, as a side note, we're starting to run out of time. There's just been so much struggling this stream. We've we've probably made it past our allocated window of streaminess for today. But aside from that, JSON APIs, Ajax, converting. Now, again, they were leveraging jQuery, so there's a slightly different. But this, that's what peaked that whole... Free code camp tangent. Dollar Ajax. URL to blank success. Result for each console log. Blah 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 blah. Your data structure is not clear as the structure view is shared in PHP notation and does not represent the JSON you receive in JavaScript. But my guess is that this will work. Result for each item, object keys, item character data for each function key, console log, item character data key dot data. I wonder if I'd be able to leverage that as well for mine. Probably not, but more importantly is they have this dollar Ajax and no little kitty, little kitty. We're just give us like two and a half more minutes. Watch yourself, all right? You're covered in fur and full of curiosity, and I love you, but one, two, three, team effort. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're a good cat. Okay, good, good, good. Continuing on, we just need to verify that there is, in fact, an Ajax section somewhere. Godforsaken nightmare. No, 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 no. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, what to do, what to do, menu, map, the next bit. Dim, 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 dim. Get pre-filter. What about that? Dim, 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 d, 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 d. Dim, 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 dim. Dim, 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 dim. One of these. Some activity somewhere, I had that Ajax section. I know I did. I'm just trying to figure out if and where and when I need to implement that. I'm not sure that's entirely what's needed now. That's all I have to go off of. I think day 313 is just going to end in tragedy. That's, that's what I'm thinking. We will check the random quote machine. And... Damn, that's a code pen. Random quote machine. Let's check that. There's a random quote machine link. 
Ah, random quote generator. Cool. And here, oh dear lord, change the view. Uh, sideways. Ta-da. Close that. And JavaScript. Can be shimmied up like so. Quotes and stuff. Document ready. Get quote on click. Random math dot floor. We did have it set up differently. Maybe we can implement that. The document ready and all of that noise into our code tomorrow. Just brutal. All right, well, let's, let's go ahead and just, we can learn to accept defeat. Day 313 ends in fiery tragedy. We can, uh, we'll even save pushing it to GitHub either after the stream or maybe even just wait till tomorrow because that was just horrific. But let's go ahead and, and back out. Day 13 ends with a fizzle. Uh, thank you again to anyone and everyone who stopped by to view the stream. Uh, today we had Zero Love and Sir Skull and and. To anyone else who may have accidentally stumbled in here to view the stream as well, thank you very much. Any and all views are greatly, greatly appreciated. Day 313 comes to an end. However, the adventure continues tomorrow with day 314 of the year of streaming and learning to code. In the meantime, are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!